Okay, so one of the things we should have also done is add in the geophysical data. So make sure you've downloaded it um, from the online link provided in this video. It wasn't in the original file that you downloaded. So you've got to download it again. Now you're going to click up here on the plus sign. I've saved it to the folder where I've got everything. And we're going to click on this RSA, which stands for South Africa. TMI is our magnetic data. And it's a TIFF file. So I'm going to add it. And it says the raster source does not have pyramids, the same as earlier. I'm going to say yes, create pyramids. And you can see it's busy loading. It says it's missing spatial information, which is disconcerting. Um, but it seems to have put it in the right place. So if I zoom out, you can see this is the magnetic data of South Africa. Here's the western lobe, and here's the eastern lobe of the bushwell complex. So it's placed it perfectly. You can see it's loaded the magnetic data over here. So I can click it on and off. Let's do the same for the gravity data. Double click it here, click add. I'm not going to select the band, sorry. I should have actually gone here, not double click, select Bouguet anomaly, that's the gravity, and click add. It's going to give me the same message again. Okay. And it, yes, it's loaded in the same place. So you can see the Bushveld complex has both a gravity high because of the, um, the false the uh, mafic minerals have a very high density and it's got a very strong magnetic signal mainly because of the magnetites in the upper group. So that's how you would load the magnetic data and the gravity data to your map.